Hey everyone, um, so I just thought to do a video in my car because I find it really easy to film in the car. Like, I don't know what it is about it. It's just so casual and easy and I enjoy it. Um, maybe I'm going to shut off my car though because it's kind of annoying how it's running. You're probably going to hear my dash cam in a second. So I'm just eating some fries from Triple O, which is a chain. It's like a fast food chain in Canada um, tied to White Spot. It's like, it's like White Spot food kind of, but fast food version. Um, I'm eating, um, I'm eating the Parmesan fries, Parmesan garlic fries, which I didn't think that they came with a sauce on them. I see the sauce. I thought it would be like Parmesan sprinkled on the fries, you know, but, but they do taste really good. So I don't have any regrets really actually. It's not what I wanted, but they taste really good. So today's video is going to be about what I got on my birthday. And I also did a tiny bit of filming when I was at this one store. Um, it's called Holt Renfrew. If you're Canadian, um, what the fuck is this guy doing? Sorry. If you're a Canadian, you know this store. Um, it's a like high-end department store. And so I went shopping on my birthday. Well, I didn't intend to go shopping. So this is actually what happened. Um, Jay got me this one purse from Burberry. So I actually described to him this bag I wanted from Burberry, but he, I didn't even think he was listening to be honest because he was like scrolling on his phone or something. I don't know. I didn't think he was listening. Honestly, like the fact that he had a package, like a gift from Burberry, I was just like, whoa, you were listening. That's crazy. And, and I was thinking there's no way you got the right bag. There's no way. Like, I don't know if you're listening that much, but anyways, I did forget to describe a very, like, important detail about this bag so I can understand how he ended up getting the wrong bag. So, he ended up getting me, uh, this bag, I'll, sh I'll put a picture here, which is gorgeous, beautiful, but I don't, I didn't want that bag because I don't need a bag like that as I feel my, um, Chanel Jumbo fits that space, like, same kind of thing, like black leather flat bag with shiny hardware. Um, and that bag, because it's like shiny gold, I just feel like it's a little fancy for every day. So I was really looking for an everyday bag and, um, we ended up going downtown Vancouver to exchange. And so I did get the bag I wanted, which I really like. Mm. Sorry. And, um, also, I picked up the cardigan that I'm wearing. And I'm going to show this in another video. Just because I'm sitting here. And I know you guys can't see it, but it's the TB Monogram cardigan. And so they had this one, and then they had the Burberry uh, check print. But they only had like in the beige color and beige really, really washes me out. I can never wear beige. Beige looks horrible on me. So I actually, I really prefer this and I had been eyeing this for quite a while, like a few months, honestly. And this is, I've never had like a designer per like a uh, piece of clothing before, like higher end designer. So to me, this was like a really, really big purchase. Um, yeah, we were just there and I figured ask for it and like try it on. Because I've been thinking about it and I kept looking at websites like hoping for a sale maybe. But I would see like a 10% off coupon I could use. The thing is though, I would be getting it shipped from like Europe or wherever. And um, because only those sites had like the 10% off. And the thing is like for the 10% it's just, I'd rather just pay the money and get it here. Like whatever. So. I really like it. And, um, it's like a total timeless classic investment piece. So I figured, you know what, it's expensive. Yes. But it's something that's nice and will always stay nice. And there's nothing like weird to it or nothing like too trendy or 
anything. It's just like simple. So I'm also having a chocolate milkshake because um, I was recently sick for a really long time for like a month and a half and um like the in the depths of my sickness I didn't eat like hardly anything for two weeks so I actually feel like I lost a lot of weight so I've been like trying to eat a whole bunch lately to regain the weight I know this is not healthy and this is like not advisable <laughs> this is not a nice sustainable way to gain weight but I don't really care because I don't enjoy how I look when I'm really skinny I'd rather have rather have a little bit of weight like especially with getting older I feel like when you're really thin and you're getting older your temples like really go in I don't know if you guys can tell on the camera I don't I feel like it's not yeah maybe it shows see what I mean and then like here it has sunken in a lot like my cheeks and I just feel like it ages you a lot I'd rather have like a tiny bit of weight if I can than be super skinny you know The crappy thing is I never gain weight in my face it only goes to my hips so my hips just keep getting bigger and bigger nothing goes to my face but anyways this time <laughs> I'm hoping it goes to my face a little bit mm. this is so good like triple o's is one of the only places uh, that has real make milkshakes what can I talk um I heard Dairy Queen and stuff I heard it's like not even real dairy I mean I don't know how true that is but that's what I heard and that's really creepy like what it, what is it so I will show you guys the bag that I got and um after this I guess I will put in clips from Holt Renfrew I videotaped the uh I guess yeah it's that Gucci like what is it? I forget what it's called exactly. It's like 100. I think it, it's something about like 100 different songs that reference Gucci. So they made a collection based off of that. And I don't know if all, but a lot of the pieces have song lyrics um, saying Gucci, where it says Gucci in the lyric. So they like put it on different items of clothing. It's a really cool collection, actually. There's some really nice pieces, and, um, I mean, I'm sure they're really cool to get because they are limited. <coughs> and then I just, like, recorded... Oh, I I show you guys the, um, Balmain, uh, new pieces. Uh, I don't know. I just walked into Holt Renfrew, and this... They had, like, two mannequins dressed in Balmain, and it's the most amazing fashion, like, most beautiful, cutest... Barbie clothes I've ever seen like it's so cute if I was rich oh my goodness like I would buy every single piece it's gorgeous it's beautiful so I show a bit of that and then I show the Gucci collection and then I just show like a little bit of the store and I'm walking around I really should have videotaped in Burberry but I'm really shy I've never even like vlogged before but to be honest like if I live downtown where a good mall is or good sh good stores I would vlog more it's just I live out in the valley and it's there's like I don't know I guess I could start vlogging some stuff I mean I was just in chapters really I could have showed you guys around in there they have some cute stuff but there's just not too much to videotape here and um, yeah it's not exciting so yeah <laughs> uh, I'll show you the bag I got so this is the purse I got it's called the Burberry uh, note bag and it's like a medium sized bag. So the reason that I wanted this purse is because is because I was really looking for an everyday bag and I didn't want anything flashy, like too flashy. I don't want like Louis Vuitton print. I don't want anything that's going to really get somebody's attention. I like Louis Vuitton but I feel like there's a time and place and I feel like sometimes you just really want to be like under the radar you know you want to enjoy nice things but you don't want to be flashy and sometimes Louis Vuitton could be a little tacky I feel or I, I feel like some people might perceive Louis Vuitton as you're asking for the attention because it's so obvious Louis Vuitton right 
most of their pieces, not all of the, all of their bags, but most of their pieces. Also too, I wanted something really casual and I feel like this bag is like ultra casual. It's just like, and it's just plain black. Um, yes, it does say Burberry, but it kind of, it's not super standout-ish. Like once it's on your shoulder and your hair is covering most of it, it just kind of, it blends in a bit. Like see how mine is still wrinkled? It's really annoying and I, I'm going to try like ironing it or something. Like I don't know, it kind of bugs me why it's wrinkled. But, um, yeah, I just thought this is a really good bag. The strap is, like, completely adjustable. You can even take the strap off and, like, put a different strap on if you wanted to. Um, I'm going to do a, a video on this bag. I don't want to talk about it too much, but I just, like, it's so easy to open. And there's lots of pockets. And then, like, you don't have to do anything. It just shuts on its own. So it's, like, very simple, just very practical, casual, really good everyday bag and I feel with the like little bit of Burberry print it kind of gives it a winter vibe so I thought this would just be such a good bag for the winter time like over a wool coat even over a puffer coat I feel that it's a style that it just goes with pretty much anything but like dressy I like the thick strap it's kind of different like cooler vibe to it I think Burberry has pretty good price point still they are still within reason I mean some of their bags are getting more money they actually have so many nice things when I was there I liked pretty much everything in the store I will show you guys some like while I'm talking there's this one uh I tried on I should have videotaped like I don't know why I don't record things but it's really cute. Strap is very formed. So the bag on the bottom is round. Like a moon kind of. And then the strap continues that same silhouette. And then the bag is like a half moon shape. But it's done so well. It feels so luxurious. It is. It's really understated as well. And um, it just had such a classic high end like luxury feel to it it was a beautiful purse and I think that one was around 3,000 maybe I can't remember exactly it's stunning like that one I really 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 like um especially in the camel color it's a gorgeous bag and then they had this other bag oh my goodness the pocket tote I think is what it's called the pocket tote comes in so many different colors um variations fabrics uh, patterns like there's canvas everything um and they're all cute they're all so cute the camel color again and that is gorgeous and then they had one which I seen when I went upstairs where the clothes were and it was a it had like a wool Burberry check on it and it was like green and black or something with gray maybe but it was gorgeous like the cutest bag ever especially for winter like oh my goodness like I picked it up it's adorable it's adorable why aren't I why aren't I showing them like I don't know what's wrong with me how often do I even go into a nice store and then I like don't record anything um yeah so that's all I really have to talk about in this video and then now I will show you guys the clip of the mall <laughs>
Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed my chatty video, please do subscribe and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.